Strictly Judge and dancer Craig Revel Horwood and his best friend, singer Rietta Austin, are aiming for a Christmas number one with their new single, It's Christmas, Merry Christmas. Craig and Rietta are with me now. Good afternoon, both. How are you doing? Fantastic. Fantastic is what I like. Yes, darling. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> you know, Christmas is around the corner and we're loving it. Absolutely. I can tell. Well, Craig, this is the first time you've released your own music. How did this come about? Well, Rieta came to see me in pantomime a couple of years ago and I was in uh, Cinderella, which I'm doing now, of course, at the Maybell Theatre in Southampton. And I, in the show, I have to sing uh, a part of I Will Survive. And she heard that and then she decided that she was going to write me a song. Oh, <laughs> and then she presented this song to me and I said, I went, wow, OK, yeah, shall we record it? I said, yeah, 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 let's do it. And then I said, well, why stop at one, darling? Why don't we do 14 and then create an album of duets? So we sort of did that. And then I said, well, it's been a big sort of bucket list thing of mine to have a Christmas single. So I said, well, let's go in. And then we wrote this Christmas single together and then uh, decided to actually release it. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Rietta, you are a genius. Good going. I mean, how long have you known Craig? I mean, how did this friendship come about? Well, officially, I've known him since I auditioned for him and Strictly Confidential. But what he didn't realise, it took me a while to remember. As I kept saying to him, I've seen you somewhere before. And he went, yes, of course, darling. I'm on television. <laughs> and I went, no, nah, not it. And it what, took a while, but I realised that I went, oh, I know where I know you from. I was your waitress when I was 15. <laughs> How do you remember that? <laughs> Because he was the most beautiful man I'd ever seen. And I'm from a very little town in New Zealand. And he just walked past me and my jaw dropped. And I've remembered that gorgeous face ever since. But he was really surprised, as you can imagine. And I'm sure he remembered you too. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought now, you I was in the Danny LaRue show at the time, uh, touring Australia and New Zealand. Yes. And that was our last port of call, actually, was Rose Rua. So it was bizarre, actually, when she told me that story. I went, oh my, that was like years ago. Well, you guys were ob obviously meant to connect somewhere, somehow. And then you land here and mm. now you've got this album together, which is brilliant. Craig, tell us about the track. It's called It's Christmas, Merry Christmas. And goodness me, you've thrown all the sparkles at it, haven't you? Well, we have. We wanted it to be Christmassy. We didn't want to have a subliminal message, except for the fact that we want people to get up and dance. So it, we did it as a slow sort of jive so people could actually manage it, you know, and enjoy themselves and have a great time at Christmas. You know, and, and it's a fantastic tune sort of based on, you know, a 50s vibe, which we both love, you know, because mm. I prefer listening to like Bing Cosby and all of that as well, you know, around Christmas time. And the 50s vibe was just so of happy-go-lucky and um, where you know life was absolutely fantastic you know after the war and everyone was like joyous you know and I, we just wanted to recreate that type of feel but give it a, a modern edge you know but uh, and it suits both our voices so it was uh, perfect to do we thought uh, we didn't know we'd be rivaling, obviously, Elton John and Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> you still stand a pretty good chance, surely, Rieta. <laughs> then, you know, I came back over here from New Zealand and Craig said, right, darling, we're doing it this year. And I went, right, right on my way. And what he didn't warn me about was, and he said, and so is everybody else now. There's Adele and James Blunt and Abba. I'm sure Yoda's probably going to release the track soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you know what? I love Christmas music, but I do get bored of some of the tracks that get played over and over and over again for you know a period of two months. So it's always wonderful to have new tracks coming out every year, and especially a, a fun one like this one. So, Rietta, you've co-written and produced the track, and um, Craig mentioned the album as well. I mean, what can we expect from the album? Is it a 50s vibe all the way through? 
No, it's not. It's got a little element of something for everyone, which is what we were trying to do to reflect both our dance backgrounds. Um, but I think that mostly from, from my point of view, when I heard Craig for the first time in pantomime, like most people, I thought, oh, yes, can he sing? And then when he opened his mouth, he sang the most glorious note I've ever heard that went on for about four years. <sighs> and I just, my jaw just dropped and I went, Oh, my goodness, he really can sing. And I think from my perspective, that's what I wanted to get across, that my beautiful, beautiful friend is not just an amazing dancer oh. and a, a wonderful being, but he's got the most incredible voice. And so we've picked songs that we both love mm -hmm. and both love to dance to, but also both love to sing. And I, we wanted to try and do something for everybody, but also something for ourselves that we can play our mums. Yes, exactly. well, I cannot wait to hear it. Now, Craig, uh, you do have this brilliant w video as well for the song with uh, Rietta. It looks like you guys had a ball. I mean, you're not in the same location at the moment, but you were for the no. video. Tell me about that day. Well, I that day I just come out of lockdown because I was um, suffering from COVID, of course, and it was the week that I missed Strictly. We were meant to film it like that week, yeah. but I was stuck in my turret, darling, at home yeah. for ten days, and then on the eleventh day, we decided just to film it around my piano at home, just because it was quick, <laughs> yeah. and we had such a laugh that day. We'd done a Hello Magazine photo shoot in the morning, and then we came back to the house, did a few stills and things like that before the sunset, and then as soon as the sunset, we went into the front room and did the video, and we have it was a real laugh. I mean, it was a whirlwind of a moment, but yeah. uh, we get on really well, and I think in I the video tell. you can see that we just have a laugh yeah. together. You know, we do look like we're drunk in it, though, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> were. I guess the champagne was going when the photo shoot was going, was it? <laughs> yeah, there you go, darling. You're getting in the Christmas spirit and cheer. It was great oh, well, fun. What a lovely way to come out of quarantine, you know, to yeah, see one of your was. best friends and make a brilliant video. So I'm sure all the listeners are going to go and have a listen. But we need to hear the track now. Craig and Rietta, stay where you are. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. That wonderful, cheerful song uh, coming up after a quick travel update. Ben Az here with Craig. Craig Revel Horwood and Rietta Austin and that was their new Christmas song It's Christmas Merry Christmas heading to number one very very soon guys right? Yes yeah. well, we hope so. I mean yeah. it'd be amazing if that actually happened Well <laughs> Still, I wouldn't be surprised I think it's you're going to put yourself out there, I think, you know, and have a bit of a laugh and see how it all goes, really. But I think it, number one, primarily, it's a really good introduction to Rietta and I, you know, because we're sort of uh, introducing Rietta because not a lot of people know that uh, know of her. You know, obviously she's known in New Zealand, but not in the UK. So it's sort of nice to say, OK, this is my friend Rietta. And we like singing together. And now, you know, like Mother's Day, we're going to release something and then we're going to release the album. So it'll be oh. really cool. So for it's us, it's an introduction and it's just really it's been great fun to do. And, you know, may it long continue. And we want to write something that's going to stand the test of time. You know, we want this to come back over and over again and be part of the classics. That, that would be the, you know, the beauty of it. So I'm delighted. I'm thrilled. And thank you for Rietta for the opportunity, Don. Rietta, I can oh, see I, you smiling cheek I, to cheek. Uh, look, I I think the thanks is from me, Craig. You didn't need to do this. And I love you so much for giving me this platform and this opportunity. And you, you, you may, everyone knows how fabulous you are and how amazing you are, but I don't think they've seen this side of you as my friend and the fun that we have together. But you really didn't need to do this, and I just love you very much oh. for giving oh, me... Oh, are you sweet? But Gosh. it is completely out of character for my Strictly Come Dancing <laughs> persona. <laughs> I mean, it's quite the opposite, isn't it? <laughs> I was a bit scared today, Craig, but I'm yeah. so glad this is going smoothly so far. And I want to talk to you about Strictly because, well, you've done 19 series of it. I mean, do you remember life before Strictly? Oh, yeah. I, was, uh, <laughs> I do remember. It was a hard slog, Dolly. I was like a dancer and then became a singer-dancer, then became an actor-singer-dancer, and I was in musicals, you know, for the most of my 
life up until really I was 30 and then I decided to become a director choreographer. And then I went back on the stage 16 years later after forging a career in, in as a director. And that was in Panto. And that was literally, yeah, 14 years ago or something. It was amazing. Yeah. So, And I'm still in Panto now, which I love, you know. So that has kept me on the boards and has kept me sort of singing a bit every year, which has been great because I have missed it. You know, it's one of those joyful things, you know, and it really great for releasing endorphins as well, mm. like dancing and physical exercise. Singing is, you know, great for your mental health. You know, it just makes you feel happy. Yeah. It gives you a challenge. And I, you know, I really, you know, want to push everyone. If they don't do any exercise, singing is a great exercise. You burn calories, darling. You're enjoying yourself and it's great fun. And preferably sing to It's Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry because Christmas. it'll just lift your soul for, for the week ahead coming up to Christmas. So when is rest coming up for you, Craig? Because you, you've got the panto, you've got Strictly, and then you're going on the annual arena tour as well. I mean, you love what you do, I'm sure. Work yeah. is like a holiday for you. But when are you going to be resting? I'm going to be resting as soon as the tour finishes. I've got two weeks of rest. And then I start my one-man show, The Old Balls and Glitter Tour. And that's going to loads of theatres all around the country where I'm doing one-nighters. And it's a little bit more than just a Q&A. You know, mm. uh, I'm doing a lot of singing in it. I'm doing a bit of tap dancing. Lush. It's going to be really good fun. And I can't wait to do that. And then I'm going to get Rieta to come on stage and we can sing a couple of duets together, darling. It'd be great. So, uh, yes. So we're sorting that out. And then I shall collapse into a screaming heap <laughs> in June. And that's when okay. I'm lying around my pool, darling, for an entire month, <gasps> drinking pina coladas. Sounds perfect. I'll be thinking about Ooh, you. Oh, yeah. In the meantime, Rietta, you're going on tour as well in 2022. What's keeping you busy Come in the coming year? Um, I have to go back to New Zealand for a big festival that's over there. And also I'm getting us ready for our single for Mother's Day. Um, so Craig's off doing that and I'm back in the studio getting everything ready for our next single release, which our mums are really looking forward to. It's so Aww. cute. They're all excited. Yeah. But I, I'm going to do I'm going to be in the studio not drinking pina coladas. Um <laughs> <laughs> You'll have bubbles it's not good for the vocal yeah, It no. does clog up your vocal cords. <laughs> that's true. That's yeah. true. You need to keep that voice. I mean, it must be an amazing job as a singer for you to sing classic tracks for, you know, so many different genres and eras. I mean, tell me, what are your favourites, Rietta? Oh, I love everything. That's my problem. We're quite eclectic, both Craig and I. I love Aretha Franklin, Stevie Wonder, but then I love rock. I love Queen. Um, <sighs> and I just, I love rock. Uh, I love jazz too. And I think that's, it's so nice to be able to record an album where you don't have to be in one genre because, you know, from loving soul and jazz and R&B and, and rock and opera as well. My auntie um, wow. is an opera singer. We've got a little bit of everything in our album and that's, you're absolutely right. It's, it's wonderful being a singer and being able to express all those different genres. Mm. Um, but in particular, with your friend, you know, and yeah. with, I think that's what I love the most about our album is that it's, there are classics on there. We've written some more songs, uh, but there's also some classics with a twist. Like we decided to put something a little bit different in them so that, mm. you know, it reflects a bit more personalities. Maybe maybe not the splits like the video. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I cannot alarm, wait to hear it. <laughs> now, Craig, back in the summer, we saw you with fellow judge Bruno Tonioli in Wales yeah. as part of your great British road trip. And we hear that you're 5% Welsh. I was wondering if we can just claim you as Welsh. Oh, yes. Well, I'm 5%. It's in my DNA, darling. I, I was delighted about that. There was absolutely nothing from Australia, really. <laughs> I was born no. in Australia. So when I came over here, I'm 99.8% uh, British. Oh, <laughs> and that fantastic. includes 5% Welsh. Yeah, it's a bit of Irish, do you, English. Do you get to come to Wales much? I mean, have you explored well, the country much apart from yeah, work? Wales with um, Craig and Bruno travelling show thing. That was brilliant. But um, I've done two weeks around Snowdon area. I've done um, all around St David's. It's so gorgeous there. Yeah. I mean, I could not believe it. You know, I went out, I saw seals. 
Uh, I mean, you would swear you're in the Mediterranean. I yeah. mean, it was just amazing. And I thought, why are people not really going here? It's a you know, in their droves, you would think you would think that they would be going in their absolute droves. Well, they and will I'm glad be. they're not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but it's so it. beautiful. Thank you so much for the lush chat today. I'm smiling cheek to cheek because you're both so lovely. I hope you have a gorgeous Christmas. Thank you, you too. Thank you, Craig Rebel Horwood and Rieta Austin's single It's Christmas, Merry Christmas is out now.